My name is Margaret Welch. I'm the focused instructional coach at Woodland Academy in Worcester, Maine South. And my role involves working closely with teachers to help them build their instructional capacity. Initial reaction was some trepidation because we've worked very hard at Woodland to avoid boxed, packaged programmes. We have a very strong focus on authentic literacy. We have students reading and writing, um, looking at real books, real characters. I have seen such fantastic conversation in this room and it's so much more than a vocabulary program where students are learning lists of words. I've seen the students really get excited and celebrate the fact that they know how to embed a newly learned word into another sentence about a different picture, um, which is, it, it's the application of the vocabulary that's exciting because I, I've I've been here and I've seen vocabulary instruction as a parent with my own kids going through middle and high school and, and using texts like 601 words where they learn a list of words, they learn a list of definitions and then if you have a good memory you do well on the test at the end of the week and you may or may not use those words ever again in your whole life. Um, and I've seen teachers here using vocabulary lists which you know, they, they choose them from a piece of literature and it, it seems like a good idea, but again, there's no um, no metacognition about it. They're not thinking about the thinking. It's, it's rote learning and very little application, either in, um, in writing and even less in, in the spoken word. And I think that's what's really exciting to see here with these really little guys. Matthew. Um, because... Because the, the artists all made the, the blanket bigger and the baby smaller. Yeah, so he... What? The luminous. The luminous. The luminous, you are absolutely right. And it was so interesting to hear the chorus build because the student that was engaged in the conversation remembered, I think he got as far as volume or voluming and and he's he was working at it and then he got support from his his peers and they all remembered voluminous spontaneously with that and there are no adults involved in this conversation it was amazing um, and they have they've gone from I think about this time last year I would say 98% of them were well below grade level they're supposed to be able to read at a, a level B or C um, by the time they start kindergarten. Most of these students, not because of a lack of mental capacity, but because of um, language if issues, were well below grade level. And right now, <laughs> for the... <laughs> For the first time ever, we have a full class of kids on grade level. Or above. This class is the first class we've had at Woodland Academy who are all on or above grade level for reading. I think she's going to have about five or six of her students who will be uh, meeting the end of second grade expectations. So they're a full year ahead which is unheard of. Unheard and, of. and last year they were? Last year they were um, almost 98% of them were below grade level.